Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ah, uh, here's a different view for everybody. I'm in this little picture-in-picture -picture window inside, floating around what seems to be OS X. Oh, I'm going to show you exactly how I put everything together, because so many people have asked, what do you use, how is it being used, what software, so on and so forth. Well, obviously, you can see that I'm running inside of OS X, and that's my production machine. I'm using a, a Mac Mini. I've got a Canon GL2, which is a, a mini DV cam, connected by FireWire to the Mac Mini. And then video out is, uh, well, the Mac DVI out to HDMI, which plugs into my Panasonic 42-inch television. And this is all across from me. This is uh, the other side of the office that few people uh, really get to see, because largely I have the camera pointed towards uh, my primary uh, work machine, which is currently Windows. So I'm a you know multi-operating system, multi-platform kind of guy. I, and one of the reasons, the big reason why I found the Mac to be perfect in this situation, number one, uh, there's a Mac Mini. Uh, the, the, the form factor uh, is sitting in the entertainment center is perfect. Uh, it, it does its job. It's not, you know, an amazing, you know, it's just power horse. Um, I've had issues running a lot of uh, very uh, complex operations on, on this particular Mac Mini, uh, but I'm doing a lot with it, and its primary function is specifically streaming the video out to the web, and then of course capturing and recording using Ustream. And that's what you see on screen right here. This is a Firefox browser window that has the Ustream recorder with the video previews turned off. Uh, again, I gotta save as much bandwidth as I possibly can. I just have a, a regular old home internet connection on Comcast. Um, but I use OS X largely because it works, and uh, it's a good form factor on the hardware, works well with the, the FireWire DV cam, and, and most importantly, the software that I use to put the chat and the sponsor bug and the, uh, you know, all the elements, even this picture-in-picture -picture element and the, uh, the, the topic and all these things put together, the best software on the planet for any operating system is only available for OS X. Uh, it's... Cam Twist, and many OS X users know of it at this point uh, because it's just such an amazing product um, that will allow you to do all these various things with your uh, live video, if you, whether you're streaming live or whether you're recording video. It's it's kind of like an, uh, you know, imagine a, a, an interrupt or a go-between between between your camera and wherever your camera is outputting, and that's what Cam Twist does. It lets you add these different layers. I tried all the software uh, for Windows, and they all suck. Um, there's nothing close to Cam Twist on Windows. Uh, true to form, Windows developers just can't design an elegant application, uh, at least that uh, I could find. Uh, and I registered, I think it was Webcam Max for like 30 bucks. Cam Twist was free. But I registered this uh, the piece of software on, on uh, called, Cam, or, uh, called Webcam Max for Windows that kind of did the same thing, but not really. I mean, just like Windows is kind of like the software is a cheap knockoff of something that, you know, you could have, you know, gotten elsewhere. Um, Webcam Max was decent, but then it blue screened me a couple times and I was done. I said, forget it. Uh, and then I ended up paying this Cam Twist author. I sent him, I sent him a few dollars just to say thank you, more than a few dollars, but I said, thank you. You've designed an app that really makes it nice. Um, so, that's why I use OS X uh, it's, uh, for, for particularly streaming the video. You could use Windows, but good luck with the software because it all sucks. Because it's going to look crap. It's going to look like crap. And your video is going to look like crap in, unless you use a piece of software like Cam Twist. Now, I realize you can't see a lot of the details right now, but I don't know how well this is going to work. I'm controlling this remotely over VNC. Uh, well, I can here. Give me a second. I'm going to connect to my OS X machine. I've showed you guys how to do this before in another video. I'm going to zoom in just a little closer, I hope. <gasps> Hang on. Okay, so we'll see how this looks. A little closer. So, you'll have to pardon the jarry nature of uh, zooming in and moving my mouse around, uh, but I'm trying to give you a closer look at Cam Twist and specifically the effects that I'm using for the video. Um, I've got different sources I can choose from. Webcam, uh, which is the live feed that you're looking at here. Desktop, which is 
the general picture of what you're seeing, uh, a slideshow or a movie, and so pictures or recorded movies. I'm talking to the author uh, about of Cam Twist about making this more of a podcast client so that I can pull in recorded videos that we've done in the past and actually list that as a video source. I can apply different effects to the live video, uh, to, to the video feed, if you will, all sorts of stuff, a sparkle trail, snowfall, rotating text, rotating apple, slime, uh, fire, watercolor. I mean, it, the, the effects go on and on. I'm not interested so much in that as I am, uh, you know, more of the functional uh, usage of it and of, of, of cam twist. And that is right now, my primary uh, visual feed happens to be the desktop, and I've got it set to the full screen. Um, I have a couple of configuration tweaks I'll show you in a second. Uh, when, I, when I turn off or, or when I go to bed, I, I change a couple of views and I'll show you how I toggle that. Normally I have, this is the picture-in-picture -picture desktop I have set uh, for the chat, and which you kind of saw at the bottom of the screen a, a couple seconds ago. It was probably duplicating the way I had it set up. The image overlay happens to be my uh, sponsor logos that are running through, constantly looking for new sponsors. Um, text, and this happens to be the live.perlo.com text that you see beneath the uh, um, beneath the, the sponsor bug. Uh, I, I could turn on a clock with relative ease. Uh, normally I have an RSS ticker that uh, pings an RSS feed and, and we update that with the, the topic of what we're talking about in chat or on video. Uh, and then I have a couple of other picture-in-picture -picture desktops on the back burner uh, so that when I uh, want to flip to them, I can. Uh, and I'll, I'll, again, I'll show you the way I've got it configured at this point. So that that gives you a close-up look. And of course, I can save the settings and and I can tweak all sorts of uh, all sorts of uh, configurations uh, within. Let me zoom out. There we go. Now you can see chat again. So the uh, uh, the chat here here. Pardon me. Right now, I've just got it set here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it is a Colloquy window. Colloquy is a free IRC client for the Mac, and there's nothing close to it on the PC. Go figure. Uh, I've, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just could not find any quality software for for Windows that would will allow me to do something that looks so good. Uh, I, I really hate to break it to all you Windows users, but you're you're kind of out of luck. Um, so I, I've got it set up, and I'm actually capturing that part of the. Let me exit out of this. I'm not going to zoom in anymore. Uh, I have um, the picture-in-picture -picture desktop. I've got it capturing that particular area, so that's what you, that's what you see. And in 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 the picture-in-picture -picture desktop, I've got it set to specifically capture black that runs all the way across. And so if I move the window here in in the, you'll see it kind of pop in front of the chat down below, as in, but behind the layer where I have the the sponsor bug or our website, it's because I'm grabbing just that specific part of the desktop. And then what I do, it's kind of cool. And that's just that's so now you can see, you know, that that particular layer. And I've zoomed in, I've scaled it to the, the to the right size for where I have the font. Um, but it's just a screen capture essentially um, of of that particular part of my desktop. So yes, the winner of the laptop giveaway does get announced today. So then what I do is I set my Firefox window just above the line. You see the shade that's coming in right where chat fades out and the desktop begins? Uh, I do that by its, its OS X's window. See there, you can see the bottom of the window? That's how, that's how I get that effect. Is it's, I'm using the window shading in OS X uh, by putting the browser window uh, at the top or like overlaid over the chat and then just bump it up so that it's just right on the edge so I get maximum amount of shading without you seeing the browser window border. There you go. So then it looks like the chat is fading underneath whatever we happen to be streaming. In this, in this case, it happens to be a, a, not just my picture-in-picture -picture live video, but also at the Mac desktop. Um, now, by the way, my frame rate, I'm sure, is just hellish right now because Cam Twist, the way it captures des the desktop, is it captures the entire desktop, even if you tell it just to look at it a little bit. So my frame rate is really, really bad because I'm doing a live. Uh, if I if I turn off my live video preview, the frame rate would be better. So that's why I keep previews turned off. Um, then let's see here, what should I do? So let me go back. I'm going to turn. I'm going to keep that picture-in-picture -picture desktop on. 
I'm going to turn off the picture-in-picture -picture webcam, so my face is going to disappear. I'm going to set the source, the primary source, as the webcam. And just double-click it a couple times. Sometimes it doesn't hit the camera or see the camera first time out. So you're probably seeing a black screen right now. It's okay. It's normal. <laughs> Desktop here, going back, there we go, now I've got a camera. Hi everybody! Um, the frame rate should be much better now. And now you're seeing, so you're seeing kind of behind the scenes. So when I go to bed, this is what I do. I've got it set up so that, let me minimize the Ustream recorder, I can keep that bottom chat open. I'll open up another chat window, which uh, I've, I've filtered out the, the chat that you were looking at at the bottom of the screen that's filtered. But I'm going to turn that off for a second, just toggle that off. So that chat disappears, or it should. There we go. And then I tweak my brightness. I've got that set up in the in the plugin. And then I scroll down a little further, take a picture in picture of the desktop, and look at that. Through Cam Twist, I've actually set an alpha transparency of the uh, of the, a different chat. It's the same chat room, but uh, Cam Twist, the author. Uh, I, I said we, we Bawana and I were really pushing him to do alpha transparency in these in these windows. He said it didn't look that great, but on video it looks freaking amazing. So this is another colloquy window that ha that doesn't have the filter turned on. Um, and so in this one, you see live guests joining or quitting. There's not as much colors, um, but at, at night, when I, again when all the lights are off, it really stands out. So that's uh, filtered how it's an alpha channel. Or I guess uh, what do they call it? Like a chroma key. Um, my uh, the the chroma key that I've set. Let me move it over here. I'll show you. Is black. So right now you can't. You can actually see through my chroma key color. I can set that color to anything, but I currently have it set to black. Of course, you can see right through it because that's that's the color I've set is black. Uh, but I can set it to any color, uh, if you will. So that's the idea: is that I can have a black transparency, and you know, so I can flip back and forth. So this is my, this is the way I have chat set up at night. Uh, was I picking my nose? No, I don't think so. Um, let me. So now that's that's how I do it at night. So I can turn off the picture-in-picture -picture desktop, turn brightness to normal, turn on the picture-in-picture -picture desktop for the regular old chat, minimize cam twist. Minimize the other window, and now we're back to the races. Or now we're off to the races, or back to the races, back to the ranch. Oh. Bring up my browser window again, get that shading going, and there you go. That's kind of how I put it together. Is this live? Well, at the time that you're writing that, yes, it's absolutely live. We do live 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Even if I'm not live, the chat room is at live.perillo.com. Hopefully, that gives you a few ideas about how you could, you know, possibly put videos together just by using software that exists, free software, free services. We use Ustream.tv. If if you haven't already noticed that on the uh, live.perillo.com page, uh, I don't rock, you rock, Chris rock. Anyway, uh, Schoolhouse rock. Oh God, I better end this video before I just, you know, keep embarrassing myself further. Uh, that's that's kind of how I do what I do and and why it's so much fun to to, to, to you know do things I obviously I didn't explore every aspect of cam twist but that the idea of of showing you how I do this that that wasn't the idea if you want to play around with it if you don't have OS 10 go out and buy it uh, I, I can almost guarantee you won't regret uh, buying an Apple almost I'm not gonna fully guarantee that but uh, there's a lot of great software uh, for OS 10 that just is not available for Windows, which is really, really kind of sad. All right, uh, that's it. We'll see you over at live.perillo.com where you can download our podcast on YouTube. Um, hopefully, you, you, you've all heard of YouTube, right? Yay, YouTube, FTW, right? Hmm? Subscribe to the channel. Got to do it. Everyone's doing it. Even your mom is doing it. Don't ask me how I know.